If you are ever looking for some eccentric materials for writing or carving, then the autograph tree may be able to help you out. This tree was named for its leaves, which are so hard that you can carve or write into them. This tree is also unique in that it can absorb carbon dioxide during nighttime hours, which is something that few species can do. Just be careful cultivating this tree, as it has a nasty tendency to grow on top of other plants and strangle them. It also forms dense thickets which crowd out native species. It has been classified as invasive in some regions, so research its effects in your area before planting an autograph tree in your yard. Though primarily grown for ornamental reasons now, the autograph tree had some more practical uses in the past. It was used as a source of firewood and to make playing cards, game balls, and tar. Growing an autograph tree is easy as long as you can give it what it needs. Place the tree in a place with full or partial sun. It is an epiphyte in the beginning of its lifespan, but as it matures, it will require well-draining soil, preferably soil that is sandy or loamy. Water at least weekly, especially when the top inch of soil has completely dried out. Though it is fairly easy to grow, be careful as this is what also contributes to its invasiveness. The autograph tree is certainly an interesting species that has had a lot of practical use. But though it may be useful, be cautious with this tree to avoid harming your plants or your local ecosystem.